Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jack's Indie Game of the Week. This is the third episode that I've had to re-record. Sorry, scratch it. It's the third episode, and I have to re-record it. It got all messed up, it was... It wasn't really recording the video, but hey, at least I'm getting it back on there because this is a fun game called Hacknet, and I don't remember the price. Damn it! Well, the price will be on the thumbnail and in the description, and that's all I can say. I think it's $9.99, but it might not be. I'm pretty sure it's $9.99, though. So it's not a bad price, and it's a fun game. But I'm, uh, I'm also prefacing this with uh, the next two episodes. I didn't use a mic. I forgot. So it was just my computer mic. So the voice, my voice is going to sound really bad in it. But I didn't want to re-record them because I've already re-recorded those two twice. So I'm sorry about the mic, but... It's not terrible, it's not like, I can't listen to this, it's like, oh, that sounds bad, but, you know, this, hopefully this one has got a good mic with it, and it should be fine, but we're gonna start a new account, we're gonna be Jam Jack, enter, password, is this, I don't remember what I just spelled, Boom. Ah, dang it. Boom. Anyway, this is a hacking video game. I know it sounds pretty nerdy, but it's pretty awesome game. I'm not good at it at all. Like, I get to one spot and someone crashes my game, and then that's it. I can never get past it. I'm, I get screwed. But... We'll see how well we'll do on this one. This doesn't have any music, I noticed. Either I turn that off, or something. Hi, this is strange. This, hi, this is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write down past tense, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't feel like he's been here. It's bit. He's bit. He's already dead. Initializing, loading. Anyway, I like this game because it it puts you in the mind. It makes you feel like you're doing stuff, like you're hacking and stuff, and you feel like awesome and cool. Ooh, connect to the computer. Scan the computer. Scan the network. Disconnect. All right, we're gonna probe some stuff. Alright. Probe. Alright, you can't see it, but down there, you can write stuff out. So, we're going to port hack, so. And if you hit, just type the first two letters and hit tab, it just immediately finishes what you're going to write. You obviously have to write enough that they know what it is, but. Ooh, password found. Alright, we're gonna scan. No results, not a problem. Next, you should investigate the file system. View file system. Go to the C bin folder and get that. Hmm. Not porn, got it. Mm hmm. Totally useless before you move up the folder in the directory to the log. CD.
Hmm, I might have confused. Ah, yes, CD space dot dot. Enter. Move the log folder. CD log. And then we're going to RM asterisk. Now we're deleting everything. Disconnect. And we've been disconnected. Hack the planet, man. Completed the guide section. Must locate the process ID tutorial and kill it. So we're going to type help. Alright, um... We're going to hit PS, because that's what we now land the PID, and then we're going to kill the PID. So, PS, enter. Ooh, tutorial is PID 94. So, we're going to kill 94. Disconnected. Booyah. Hope my voice isn't too loud in this. If it is, that sucks. I might change that and stuff. Anyway, um, blah, 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 cat file name folder, cd, blah, 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 navigate to read its files, blah, 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 blah. Twenty percent cooler solutions, ooh. Alright, reading this might say, uh, blah, 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 blah. Faster the better. Was it meant to be released first, but now after a while, we can't let it happen. Connect to your own node. Should be green on the net map. Find and delete. Security tracer. Okie dokie. File system. Bin. RM. Apostrophe. Or asterisk. Done. Now what? Log in. Lose my password. Reply. There you go. Ooh. Oh, there, there's a new one. Quick reference sheet. Well, I don't need that anymore. So we're gonna... SCP. Ooh. Alright. So this is pretty much the game. You'd Go around probing the system. We're gonna port hack. Destroy his mainframe. We're gonna view file systems, look in his bin. And then we're gonna SCP the SS hack. Transfer complete. Alright. Now we're gonna RM actually delete it. Get rid of that. And then we leave Jmail. Getting some tools together. Send. We did it. Maiden flight. Ooh. Gotta learn how to crack stuff. So eventually you get into this and it says to port hack, you need to crack one of these. Since we just got the SSH, we can go SSH tab execution failed. Ah, because we got right 22 after SS tab space 22. Now it's running. Crack operation is running. We got this, motherfucker. Aw, uh, yeah. Crack. Now we just port hack it, and you sit back and watch the money roll in. Not really, but, you know, this is a pretty fun game. And the more RAM it uses up, the bigger space it takes up on this side, so you can't have everything filling up all the way down there, because then you can't do it. So, uh, ooh. Always
just leave no trace that you were there. Okay, let's connect and go back to Gmail. So pretty much you go in, you start doing all this stuff, we, you reply a bit, bit does some stuff. He says, alright, you're gonna help me do some stuff, we're gonna get rid of stuff. And um, you're like, okie dokie, and do a bunch of stuff, probe the system, probe it in the butt. Um, SS tab and then 22, it'll always be 22. Pretty much do this, and then you get into a hacking group, and they give you jobs, and then you have to do stuff, and it just, it gets real complex after that, but you start learning as you go on, and it, it's pretty fun. Uh, I would definitely, I got to a point where I knew what the SMT and SSH and HTP were all, but I never got to that one. The, no way I might have, I don't even remember, it's been so long, but this is definitely a fun game. I highly recommend it, and I think this is where we're going to stop things right after we view the file systems, go into the log folder. We're gonna RM and pop asterisk. And there we go. Deleting all files. Alright, so I think that's where we're gonna end it. We'll reply to bit. Something to return. Reply, send, here you go. Where from here? And then that's where he and sends you to Anthropopy, which is a bunch of hackers that all come together as a group. And you try and join their higher-ups and stuff. It's cool, but... I don't know. Uh, I have fun with it. It's a fun game, and if you want to feel like a hacker, this is definitely the game for you, and I'm pretty sure it's pretty cheap. It's such a fun game. When I got it, I just couldn't stop playing it. And you can use a lot more uh, stuff, and eventually you'll, you'll feel like you're doing a lot more intense stuff. But for right now, I'm going to stop it, because the next episode is probably going to be the longest one ever. It's, I think, like 45 minutes. And it's pretty fun. I know I probably shouldn't make a 45-minute video with bad mic, but... It was my second time recording that, because the first time it, the music was way too loud, and you couldn't hear anything I was saying, but right now that's been Jack's Indie Game of the Week, Episode 3. Uh, we'll see where it goes from here. I'm probably going to record some more episodes. Uh, the first one came out today, because you can see the date right down there. You can see whenever I make all these, so it's going to be pretty easy to track when I do each of these, because I don't like recording in, like, a this window only. It, it's just easier to, for me to have the entire computer full screen recording. But, that's it for me right now. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I like, uh, we've had some comments on some of the uh, some episodes uh, recently, which was always great. We will we'll pretty much read every single comment, and if uh, if you ask us questions, we'll definitely uh, respond and talk to you about it. And I'm I want to see uh, some comments in the Jack's Indie Games of the Week because if you want to recommend some indie games to me that I think that you think I should make videos on, I'll check them out. I'll definitely do that. I don't. It's not like I don't have a reserve, any l small amount of reserves for my indie games, because I got tons of them. I got like, I can make like 20 more episodes uh, with the amount of indie games, but if you recommend any, uh, I'll definitely either tell you I'm, I have that game and I'll be doing that soon, or I'll check it out and see what it's like, and, because some indie games are good, some are bad. Some just need a little work on them. But for right now, I think we're we're doing pretty good. Uh, so I want to see some people uh, telling me what indie games to play, and uh, want to see some more comments. And uh, 
some more subscribers. We'll be making uh, more Minecraft videos and more, uh, what do you call them? Uh, block soldiers, yes. Because uh, the summer is coming up, and that means all three of us are free. I know Austin hasn't been on the channel for a while. He's been working hard, doing, living his life. Can't blame him for that. He wants to work hard. But he's he started to get more free time, so we might throw him in a couple of videos. And since I have a new computer and I can do more recordings, I probably will be uh, doing recordings with Austin and probably Connor. And we'll because sometimes we'll be playing online. I don't know. I got a uh, I got I'm all ready to do stuff. We're gonna have a cool, a funny Minecraft video. It's probably gonna come out soon. Hopefully we can. Me and Connor can record that. Maybe Austin might join it. Who knows? But that's it for me in this video. I'll see you next week. Bye.